nothing's lagging, is it? Um, not really. That's my strength is my balanced. Yeah. Physique. Yeah, I just need to get bigger, I guess. Why? Because that, the guys are twice the size <laughs> of me, that's why. It's changed a lot over years, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, back in the day when Arnold and Draper and Columbo and all that, they all had great bodies. Yeah. And uh, drugs were there, and we all took what we took, but not as sophisticated as today, yeah. because we didn't have the growth hormones, we didn't do insulin, we didn't all those things. And the bodies, the waist stayed small, and the, the body weight was average, what, 225 to 245, maybe tops. Yeah. And um, we are, I was talking to Boyer Co. about that, because when you would line everybody up on stage, if you put masks on them, you could tell each body, because each body had a certain feel to it. Yeah. Today, at the Olympia, pretty much everybody has the same physique. Have you noticed yeah. that? They all got like a swollen, like a bloated look. Exactly. And they've, they've lost that, that nice, you know, aesthetics that they had back in your day. Right. See, yeah. but the idea back in that day, even in the movies, was to have the broad shoulders and a small waist like Steve Reeves. Yeah. Because you'd walk down the street and you just had this big thing that came up to down to here, yeah. and people would say, well, my God, look at that. But when it comes down like here and close, yeah. you look like a fat man. Yeah. I mean, and it's more sexually appealing, like... A lot of the women don't like that no. really bloated look. No. You look like a gorilla. It's true. Yeah. I mean, you look at some of the top guys that I don't want to name names and golds, and they're, they have clothes on. They look like big elephants walking through the gym. Yeah. And they, they don't have any body fat, and they're, they look, you know, they're muscular and all that, yeah. but it's not a pleasing look. Yeah. What do you weigh now? Well, I'm the heaviest that I've ever been. That's probably why I'm sweating so much. <laughs> You're just, uh, uh, just hot in here. Yeah. I'm uh, 265. Wow. Um, usually I'm 255 and everyone has been telling me that if I put on 10 pounds of muscle that I'll be able to compete against these big guys. So yeah. I've put that extra 10 pounds on and we'll see what happens when I cut it all up and compete against these guys. you just got to come in nice and dry and tight. Did you have any trouble gaining the weight? Um, not really because um, I've, I've been doing it tough since I've been in America. I've been sleeping on people's couches and you know yeah. trying to make ends meet just to stay here. But... Now I've found myself a nice girlfriend and um, I've, I've got a home now to live in and I think that's what's made me put on the 10 pounds is just having that... Uh, not as much stress. Yeah, not as yeah. much stress and not travelling around so much and trying to make ends meet. Yeah, stress is a killer. I mean, it'll knock the weight off you, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. um, and your diet now is good? Yeah, my diet is really good. I've got an unorthodox uh, um, way of eating. How, um, how's that? Well, I just eat what I feel like eating. I don't count all my calories and protein intake. I do that uh, leading up to the show, maybe the last six or eight weeks, um, but um, I'm 265 now and I'm actually leaner than what I was at 255 in the off season before the, all the other shows. <laughs> we used to have a saying about that because back in the day when I was training, I, I could be uh, 220 and ripped yeah. and 213 and fat. Yeah. You know, you're skinny and fat, <laughs> Yeah. but it is true. Yeah. You can lose weight and it look like you're fat because yeah. you lose muscle and uh, the fat covers the muscle. Yeah. And I always thought that too much cardio would eat up muscle. Yeah, well, I've stopped the cardio and that's probably why I've put on the extra weight as yeah. well. Yeah. You notice that too? It will eat up the muscle. Yeah, with certain people, um, it, it really does chew into the yeah. the muscle. Other people can get away with it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not one of those people. Yeah, well, well yeah. I know. <laughs> we all change as we get older. Do you think now that you're, uh, well, you're 38, yeah. Your body has changed since you were 20 as far as accepting foods and metabolism? Oh, definitely. I, I um, When I was younger, I used to get these um, these cravings. I used to, when I started dieting, I used to like binge eat. I used to, mm -hmm. there'd, there'd be a time where I just couldn't stick to the diet anymore. And I'd go and eat and eat and eat and eat. It was just amazing how much food I could fit in my stomach. Right. These days, I can't do that. I can't either. You know, yeah. I, I remember Sundays and, and Arnold and I and Franco, we'd go to... You go to the house of pies on Saturday night and have pie and ice cream. Yeah. And then Sunday was a junk day and I had spaghetti and meatballs, cheesecake, you name it, and crawl away from the table burping and farting and like, yeah. like I can't hardly move anymore and bloated. Yeah. And Monday I felt bloated. By Tuesday it was right back down to normal again. Yeah. Did you get a good pump? Yes. Yeah. Big time. Uh -huh. um, I find, and I talked to Boar about this and I talked to a few other guys about this, as you get older it's really hard to get a pump. Yeah. Your body changes. And it's it, it can't be the lack, lack of testosterone in me because I do take a supplement of testosterone. But I think it could be a lack of carbohydrates and maybe a little dehydration. Right. Because you've got to be hydrated, right? You've got to have water. Yeah. And you do need carbs to train on. Yeah. You can't train without them. And for the body to hold the water, you need salt. You have to have a little salt. Yeah. Mm. Um, have you ever taken wax maze? No. You know what it is? Yeah, it's a starch, isn't it? It is. It's, yeah. a, li it's a powdered uh, glycogen carbohydrate that I tried taking before my workout. You don't get fat on it, but you do get a good pump. Right. It does work. Okay, I have to try it out. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. So, like Vitago, Vitago, um, 
Have you heard of Otago? No. Oh, I think it's the Waxy Maze product. It could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that or Viagra. Yeah. I tried that. Right. No, that's you, this is funny. I tried that as well. It didn't work. It didn't work. No. You know, someone said take CLS or Viagra before your workout because yeah. it puts blood into the muscle. Yeah. It's not it doesn't really enhance your sex drive. It just puts blood where you want it. Yeah. And that's why it's where it puts it where it is then. But I went in the gym to train with it and I thought, I don't know if I feel it or not. All it did is make my heart beat real hard and I felt really weird from it. But yeah. you heard the same thing? Oh, I actually tried it too and I felt kind of strange. Yeah. I almost yeah. felt like I was having a heart attack. Yeah, because someone told me to take it before I went on stage and I thought I better test it out first. I might walk on the stage with a stiffy. That's you know, right. So. <laughs> so. Well, he's got every body part. <laughs> <laughs> so. I tried it before I worked out, and I didn't feel good at all. No, I'm not going to do that stuff anymore. It's not worth it. So um, when when are you going to shoot for the Olympia? What, what's your goal? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, my next show is uh, in um, four months, the Dallas Europa. Okay. Yeah. And then? And then um, <clears throat> hopefully I'll qualify for the Olympia there. If not, I'll keep on uh, competing in other shows close to that. Good. Yeah. Well, I think you got a real good shot. Um, I want. Well, I just needed to take this this time off just to put on that ten pounds of muscle. Right. So um, um, I saw the the uh, Europa uh, in uh, Orlando, the one that I placed quite well in, and a lot of people said I should have competed in that. Would have had a chance of um, qualifying, but um, regardless, I needed to put on that ten pounds. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, you did it. So you can do it. Not that I want to point any fingers at anything, but let's talk a little bit about growth hormones because yeah. I've tried them, and uh, I know today to compete, everybody's on something. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Uh -huh. And I don't say good or bad about it. I think it's something that people have to do to get where they got to get. Yeah, nothing you can do about it. Like I said back in the day, we took what we took, and uh, I mean, I did the testosterone, Deca, Winstrol, Anavar. Those were only things that were around back then. But I tried the GH several times. Um, it leaned me out. Yeah, I didn't put a whole lot of weight on. I totally agree with you. I, I, I think that GH is good for for burning the body fat, but definitely not for putting on mass. No, a lot of people take higher and higher dosages, and they think they're getting bigger, but they're just holding more and more water. Is that what it is? Yeah, and then when it comes to the competition, and you got to get rid of the water, you, you, you know, piss out most of your right your gains that you thought you had. It also, I mean, it does make things grow. We know that it, it can make you larger, but it also makes your organs grow. That's why the big stomachs. Yeah. And I had gone to a cardiologist because I was having really bad heart palpitations, and he told me that my heart was enlarged and the back of it was getting stiff, probably from that. Right. And it wasn't beating properly, so I just said no more. It's not even necessary anymore. Just the testosterone works for me. And, you know, I, I think the insulin makes you really grow, and it's a cheap way of doing it because yeah. it doesn't cost much. And then I think if you balance it out with the growth hormone, if you get the combination right, but, but, what, but not take too much growth hormone. The, the thing with the insulin, if you don't get it right, you can end up with diabetes. Yeah. That's not too good. That's right. You, you can, can die. Pass out and have a coma. That's it. Yeah. So I don't think I want to mess with that. Yeah. I think what you're doing now with your training and your diet and your goals, I think they're great. Let's talk about one more thing. Let's talk about your website and what you're going to do with it because people yeah. can click on and join, right? Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, well, I thought I'd, uh, you know, um, my journey to, to the Olympia, yeah. whether I make it or not, um, I thought I'd start um, filming all my workouts, my mm -hmm. eating, my, like everything, like so people could uh, get get a feel of what it's like to be a pro bodybuilder aiming for the Olympia. We're living it through you and how you're doing it. Yeah. That's a yeah. great idea. And there's a lot of guys back home in Australia that uh, would love to do what I'm doing here. And yeah. I just want to show them what I'm going through, the ups and downs, and yeah. if anyone's interested in coming along for the for the journey, um, they can you know go to my website, uh, condodestroyer.com. Is that what it is, Condor Destroyer? Yeah. It's not your last name? No, Con the Destroyer. We thought we'd make it a bit fun. Yeah, why not? And I might even do some wrestling as well. So I thought well, we'll do something stuff in the ring, and we'll, well, you can video that and put it up there. Oh, that'd be great. We'll have yeah. fun with it. Yeah. Well, I think you people should go to his website. I'm going to put it up on the, this, this interview when we do it, so you can actually see it written out and go to it and click on there and join and whatever it takes to follow his career and his journey to the Olympia because he's going to be a winner in my eyes, and I think if you support him, he definitely will. And he's a great guy, and it's really nice for him to come out here and be on the show. So stay tuned for more Rick's Corner. Uh, we'll have him out again. We'll do some videos in the ring, and we'll have fun with it. And see you next time. See so, ya. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rick Grayson. You know me from Rick's Corner. You know me from the legends of the golden era of bodybuilding in the 70s, training with all the greats at Gold's Gym with Schwarzenegger, Draper, Columbo, Zane, Menser, all of them. And you also know that I write articles for bodybuilding.com and RX Muscle about the legends of the past, about our training programs of the past, and about our diet. 
Many of you write to me and they have questions about what did we do, how did we train, how did Arnold train, what did Draper do, what did we eat, what was the, what the secrets to our success back in those days. And basically it was hard work. But there were certain programs that we did that we followed old school methods and old school diet that worked, which was a lot different than it is today. Today is more scientific, but we got results. We got good results. And we didn't have that bloated look like the guys do today. So what I'm offering you right now is personal training online and I'm one of the few doing it because I'm one of the few guys left from that golden era. Thank God I'm still alive and kicking. So I can work with you on a personal basis, one-on-one. -on -one. If you want to sign up, go to my website, rickdrayson.com, and click on personal training. What you will do is fill out a form and send me your stats, your size, a photo, your workout, and your diet. I will restructure that to fit you so that you make the top gains that you're looking to make with our golden era workouts and our diet from back then. Each workout is specifically designed for you. I wouldn't give you something I give somebody else like a doctor wouldn't give everybody the same medicine. But if this is what you want to accomplish, go to my website, rickdrayson.com, and click on personal training. And look it over. See if it's for you. The price is extremely reasonable. It's $50 a week. Personal trainers today charge $65 to $175 per hour. And they're not even getting results with their clients. They're just walking them through it and talking on their cell phones. But I will work with you. I'm accessible, and this is worldwide. You guys who, who email me from Europe and all over the places, New Zealand, and you want workouts, now's your chance to catch me and, and catch me working with you because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be around. Who knows? We don't know. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen 20 years from now. But take advantage of my knowledge and my time that I spent 40 years of training and let me train you. Please do it and call me soon or email me soon. All my information is on my website, and I'll help you become the champion you want to become. RickDrayson.com. And don't forget it. Stay tuned for more Rick's Corner because I'm bringing a lot of stuff your way.